I'm going with a seafood risotto. Uh, I've got my rice, a bit of butter, brown meat uh, from the crab, white meat. Nice seaside risotto. Sounds lovely. And you got, you got yeah. perna as well. Bit of perna as well. Well, I'm doing, I'm doing a, well, I think it's a real classic risotto. It's just a porcini risotto. So uh, we've got porcini, we've got uh, carnaroli rice, beautiful carnaroli rice. I love that, that yeah. with mushrooms. Carnaroli is known as the king of risotto rice. Theo prefers it to arborio as it holds its shape better. Uh, onion, celery, and it's obviously finished with butter and parmesan. A little okay. bit of thyme with the mushrooms. But I'm going to start off with the, um, with the base. So the very important thing about risotto is that you use olive oil. If you use butter, I always find that the butter flavours the... Uh, you cook it too, too hot, it, can nutty, it, it goes, well. sort of burns, and you get that sort of unpleasant flavour. Okay. So I'm going to soften the onion and a bit of celery. But the most important thing about risotto, in my book, is that you actually cook the rice for about five minutes. So the point being that the, the, the rice is the same temperature as the stock. So when the, when the uh, stock is added to the rice, it absorbs evenly. Theo adds his rice to the onions and celery and cooks in the olive oil for five minutes. Whilst this happens, he moves on to his dried porcini mushrooms. That's the perfect porcini. Yeah, it's a little lovely. bit small, but it's got its... Uh, it's, all that. it's so strong, oh, isn't it? God, just, so a few, few, of, few of those. Theo prefers to source his dried porcini from a good Italian deli, but you can also buy them in most supermarkets. So the, the mushrooms have been taking about 20 minutes. And that just sort of brings them back to like almost like a fresh mushroom. You just feel that. Rehydrated sort of... it now, isn't it? Re that is the word you need. That's Rehydration. Lovely. That's lovely. Theo adds finely sliced garlic to a pan of olive oil before adding the soaked mushrooms, some fresh thyme, and the porcini soaking liquor. Mm, wow. And that's just pure. Concentrate, that's, that's, isn't that's it? That's pure right? seasoning, pure flavour. The mushrooms need to simmer for 10 to 15 minutes. Back to his risotto rice, which has been cooking in the hot oil for five minutes. You listen, you can just get that sort of pingingness yeah, of the rice. That's when, when the rice is starting to sort of... You can see it as well. They're going translucent. You can almost see at the outside it's all clear, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. So that's letting, letting so the, the flavours in there. This is, you know, what they, what they call toasting the rice. So it's okay. just it's getting that rice, that oil in the rice. And when you know it's starting to ping, you know that the, the, it's the right temperature. Okay. So I'm going to use a little, little bit of vermouth here. You can use white wine, whatever you want. You don't even, yeah. don't even have to add wine, but it just adds, gives it a nice little bit of flavour. You see that? All, all of that uh, starch is coming out of the rice to already. Up already. And yeah. that's the base of a good risotto. Once the vermouth has been absorbed, Theo adds a couple of ladles of hot chicken stock. I'm just adding a little bit of stock, it's starting to stick now, so. Mm. He continues to add the hot stock a little at a time until the rice is cooked. And then now you can just stand here and just stir the risotto. So it's a real labour of love, this. It takes time and patience, but when you get to the rice, it gets about that sort of stage, when it's just sort of creamy and just slightly sticking together, you just add. Sort of half a ladle of stock at a time. Yeah. And you know, keep the heat high and then just keep stirring it. And what will happen is that, that stock will absorb into the rice and you get a beautiful, even risotto with a kind of bite to it. Theo's risotto is well underway. Time for Aaron to get going with his seafood version. He has already separated the white and brown meat from his cooked crab and is frying the shells with onions to make a shellfish stock. I'm going to go in with some, some perno, OK? You know, I like I like perno. It's, it's got a real nice, you know, aniseed. Whoa! <laughs> Be sure to take care when flambéing at home. Once the alcohol is burnt off, Aaron adds water and tomato puree. I'm going to simmer that. So you'll simmer it down, okay? For you know, some you know, you get stocks and you, you, you cook them out for like 24 hours. This literally half an hour. Yeah. You just want you don't want to overcook it. You just want a nice, simple, light flavour. And I've got this this stock over here that I've done. It's really nice and deep. Oh, that looks lovely. In colour. Aaron passed his finished stock through a sieve, pressing down on the shells to extract the most flavour. Beautiful. So there it is. Really nice. Nice and contrary. It's almost like a um, a bis. Like a a bis. Yeah. It's almost like a bis without the cream. Yeah. Right. Uh, onto the rice. So we've got some nice olive oil here. Here we go. I'm using alborio rice. Okay. I mean, I, you know, I've always used this. I, it's a little bit fatter. I like it. It's nice rice. Yeah, I like it in rice puddings and stuff yeah, as well. Yeah. So I'm just, I'm just used to using that. Again, let's get that in. Now I'm using leek. I'm not putting it in yet. Okay, because, you know, leeks. You know, they're, they're not like, they're not as as tough as onions. You know, mm -hmm. and I've chopped them up quite fine there. Okay, so I don't really want to burn them, so I want to get that started first. Yeah. Once the rice has started cooking, Aaron adds chopped garlic, the leeks and a knob of butter. There's just one more essential item needed to make a perfect risotto. Always a wooden spoon. No, you can't make a risotto without a wooden spoon. There we go. So that's nice. Uh, a little bit of white wine in there now, OK? 
Like we're saying, yeah. cream it up a bit. Bum, bum, bum. Once the wine has been absorbed, Aaron starts to add the shellfish stock. Do you know what I like to do? I like to cook mine right down until the stock's gone. So yeah. it concentrates, 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 and then put the last big one in when I, when I, when I know it's, you know, yeah. needs a bit of water. So that's it, basically. How are you doing, all right? Yeah, good, good, yeah. Cool. Two very different takes on a classic risotto. Theo is keeping it simple and letting the rice speak for itself, whereas Aaron is going all out with a seafood feast. Which recipe will get the judge's seal of approval?